Well, we're very happy to be talking to Stephen Lisberger today, and uh, uh, we're right here on the eve of the release of the latest version of Tron. Yeah, looks great. I'm really excited about it. And of course, uh, Tron was originally released back in the early 80s, 1982, and uh, at the time, it was kind of hard to explain to people what was going on with it because it seemed so far ahead. Now, with Tron, everybody understands about the grid, everybody's on the social network. My, my 80-year-old mother and my 15-year-old son, who has never known a world without personal computing and so on, uh, with the new movie uh, that's now coming out for home video, how are you intending to keep ahead of the fact that people now feel that so much of this is familiar? Well, fortunately, I don't have to do it myself. The next generation will have this uh, job. Um, keeping up with the technology is different now. Um, and I think in some ways, um, maybe it's more possible to keep up with it because it's so interactive. When we did the first film, the technology was there, but the means to communicate and interact with it was really primitive. Uh, I try to explain to people that the companies that made the computer animation, they had no way to show the images to me, so they would get a frame of the film of the MCP, they would take a Polaroid of it, and they would mail it to me. And then across town or from you know New York, and I would look at the image on the Polaroid and make my artistic suggestions. But uh, to see the team work on Tron Legacy now, see how interactive they are with the technology, I think um, there's a lot of potential there. Now, you've got one of the original uh, laser discs yes. there. Hold, hold that up yes. so, uh, so we can see that. And uh, that was uh, considered state-of-the-art back in the early 80s. Yes. Now we have Laser this, disc. Yes, yes, laser disc. Now we have the... Uh, the, this new DVD, the, the deluxe set, has five discs stuffed with special features. I noticed the original has five hours of special features. Yeah. Uh, were there any special features in this disc that you particularly wanted to include that, that were not, or is everything that you wanted to see there? No, there's more here than I ever anticipated. I, anything, anytime Tron becomes interactive, I think it, it, it fits the whole theme of the the franchise perfectly, so I love the interactive features on this disc. And of course, uh, there's been a lot of talk on the internet about that very exciting The Next Day video that has been seen. Uh, so many ideas, there were so many ideas in the original film, so many ideas in the current one mm -hmm. for new films that are coming. How many of those ideas came directly from you? Uh, I like to think that the themes stem from the original work I did but the ideas are really not mine. You know, part of the energy that is behind Tron is comes from the fact that the next generation grew up with this technology, grew up with this film, and they've embraced it and made it theirs. So um, the the ideas change, but I think the underlying themes stay the same. And one last question. You also had a cameo role in Tron Legacy. We saw you ducking behind the bar and apparently hiding the good stuff just before the, uh, the fight broke out in the yeah. end of Line Club. You imagined the world of Tron all those years ago. What yeah. was it like to walk onto the set and to enter the world of Tron? Well, I had never tried to be in front of the camera with my good friend Jeff, and uh, I have to say that it was intimidating to try to be in front of the camera with him. Um, it's it's a whole different set of uh, chops that you have to have, and um, I am glad I don't have to do a lot of it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for stopping and talking with us. My pleasure.